love it. I'll get them. I'll get them. Here. I like the UC shirt. Election oh, May the 21st. I got my associate degree from there. Yeah. Okay. Bachelor's from Thomas More and okay. Master's from the school down in Greensboro. Because I've been a little bit down there. Okay. Yeah, I got an associate's first and then How you doing? bachelor's from the same university. Northeastern in Boston. Yeah, we're ready. Well, I had about a five-year hiatus between yeah. and a ten-year between the bachelor's and the master's. I could have done it all at night, except for two years. I did go two years to UC and then... Let's see if you can get both of us in there. Well, I'll tell you what. Life has many travels. Having spent the previous uh, 30 days, just this last month in the hospital, coming home, having another fall, taking a nosedive into the cedar chest. You need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> but they did do a CAT scan on my brain down in the emergency room. And, and I you got, still have one? I got the oh, that's <laughs> so, good. In fact, I looked at it and it was all clear. And I said, I said, well, is this the CAT scan? They said, yes. And I said, well, I guess it's the truth. There's nothing in there in the brain. I don't believe all right. But anyway, we had fun. Now, yeah. why am I here today? My wife says, John, you're not supposed to be up and moving around. And I said, well, Kim Moser's going to be speaking at the Optimus Club, which I belong to. And I said, I have just got to be there and film this because she is a superb legislator. Now, I'm speaking with a little bit of experience here. I mean, I was Commissioner of Motor Vehicles for the state of Kentucky. I was superintendent of education for the state of Kentucky, the last elected one. And I spent three years with Congressman John Breckenridge, and there goes Janine walking by, who's my great friend. And, uh, and what did I learn through doing all of that? I learned a great deal from her father, who was Secretary of Transportation for, North, for all of Kentucky. But most of all, he was my doctor for many years. It just so happens her husband, who is right? Now, I'd say the smartest move she ever made was Neil Mosier. Because the smartest move I ever made was June Diamond Stevenson. And she knows that's true, too. But now, the smartest move Neil Mosier ever made was Kim Mosier. Kim poor Mosier. And, and the people out there voting all across northern Kentucky and her district. She happens to be my representative in my district. So I can say this, she has done a superb job, excellent job, from the business of learning all the issues and, de and, and studying them and getting the contacts about them from all the sources possible before she activates on things. That's what a legislator is, that's a true legislator for the people. She represents the people of her district and of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Now, I've got a little niece that's running, too. Thank you, John. Now, I'm not asking for endorsements mm -hmm. in this interview, but I am saying she's a very smart young lady, and uh, she called her that's Uncle gonna John. Be, yeah, that's going to be a tough race. That's we've a tough two, race. We've got two really good candidates. We've got two yeah. candidates in the mm -hmm. Republican Party running, but she happens to be my niece, and her name's Julie Jaddock. She happens to be the daughter of my sister, Mary Ruth Robinson Stevenson, who's still at 87, the greeter at Walmart in Carrollton <laughs> singing songs to everybody that comes in there oh my gosh, to the place. Right. So I just have to do this. Everybody <laughs> loves somebody sometimes. Makes no difference when or where or how. Everybody loves somebody sometime, and it's Kim Moser's time, Kim poor Moser's time, right now. Go vote May the 21st in the primary, and vote for Kim Moser, and if you want to vote for my little niece, that's a good job too, Julie Jada. God bless you, and have a great day, and great to have you at the Optimist Club Thank today. You. It's great to be here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Charlie Johnson, bless his heart. Now, he was a better student than me. Okay. But I sang all the time, didn't I, Charlie? And you distracted everyone? I distracted everyone. Charlie Johnson, right here, graduate Simon Kenton, 1961. 
and uh, great to be here at Pee Wee's Restaurant. Get him a vote or two and sings a prayer or two and just having a good time. Kim Mosier, Kim Mosier, bless her heart, state representative, and she happens to be my state representative where I live in Independence right down from the courthouse. Amen. Pee Wee's Place, 3414977. Travels with Dr. John Stevenson on YouTube and Facebook. 859-750-0000. Email address, smalljsmalls at 750 at gmail.com. www.begottenson.com. www.godsbiz.com. And www.jstevenson.com. That was 213 Beechwood Road, which June and I built that little stone cottage with the helps of her uncles building the fireplace out of stones and Roger Evans and Bruce Reams and uh, just a lot of other friends helping out. And back here, right there, you see the little red trees there, boy, oh boy. I tell you what, that was a beautiful home we built there. 127 Seville Court, coming right up on it. One twenty seven Seville. Go down here and turn around. A lot of beautiful homes here. And the Lord has blessed me with living in three beautiful homes. And actually where we live right now is beautiful too. But it's small and it's old, but it's good. <laughs> Got a full basement underneath there. Beautiful place. Beautiful trees that June and I planted. Where we were married, right there, in front of the doors there. And I'm going to go back around over here. House behind us. Times change and people change. The backyard, which June came around the corner of the house. And I saw her and tripped over the stool and walked right into the volleyball net. And said, got up off the ground and said, what would you like to do? And she said, take a walk. And uh, I said, announced to everybody, well, we're leaving. We're going to take a walk. Now I'm going to figure out how to get turned around here if I can.
took a little work, but I got it done. And it's a little beautiful home there. 127 Seville Court. Used to have my jacuzzi right outside there. Two car garage. Young lady, can I ask you a question? Uh, I built this house across the street. That one? No, this one over here. Oh, 127 yeah. Seville Court. The, that one or that one? Uh, that one right behind me. Oh, here. yeah. I built that one back many years ago. Oh, My yeah. wife and I lived there, and then we built another one, uh, a little stone house up on the hillside there, right down on Beechwood Road there. Oh. A little stone house with a st cross in the gable. I put all that in there. Oh, wow. And uh, the, uh, uh, now, are you a Schachter? No. Oh, I better turn this off then. Now, I just happened to be driving around here looking at the old house we built at 127 Seville Court, which is still beautiful, and the one down uh, on 213 Beechwood Road, which always touched my heart with the fireplace in there with the Ten Commandments plaques in the fireplace uh, representing the Ten Commandments and uh, the cross in the gable. And this young lady lives here now where the Slackters used to live. Now, are you married? Are you by any chance? I am. And you, it's you and your husband that own it then? Yes. Well, fantastic. And your name is? Liz. Liz. And your last name is? Hart. Liz Hart. Well, it's John Stevenson here. You got my card about never helping anyway. Call me. Will do. And, uh, but it's so nice to meet somebody still living on a street that I loved from the bottom of my heart. I loved the people here. My wife loved it here. And this is where we were married, standing right there and uh, went on our honeymoon from here to eight countries in Europe That's and filmed it all. And she also went with me before she married me. In <laughs> 1987, we weren't married. She went with me and we filmed the history of all 120 counties in Kentucky on location, 42,000 miles of driving. And you can see all of that on my card there. It says John Stevenson. All right. And you go to you go to Travels with Dr. John Stevenson okay. on YouTube. And you can see all my videos and movies, including this little interview I'm doing right here. And you can see uh, the houses that I've built. And you can see our trip through Europe by train and other places. So God bless you and take Thank care. You. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet day. you too. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. That's where Dr. Smith lives there, Dwayne Smith. My little stone house is right back behind those houses. Virginia's Contortoise's house 
was right there where this huge house is right now. Beautiful multi-million dollar house right there. Beautiful. Beautiful right here now on Beachwood Road. Let's see if I can get the little in the stone caption. Right there, 213 Beachwood Road, Diamond and a Fish, Jesus Fish, Stevenson. Uh, 3194, it looks like. Jesus said to them, the stone the builders rejected the Lord has done this. Matthew 23:42 it looks like. Jesus said to them, the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Senator Jack Williams, Jay Williams there. And he was a daggone good senator, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. I got caught in the traffic here and had to come down this way to get get back out. You did. You're going the wrong way. I know. I was trying to figure out which way to go. I was blocked in both ways. I tell you. Are you here for a meeting? Huh? Are you here for a meeting? No, no. I just was, I, I was trying to get, the traffic was blocked and I was trying to figure out, now, how do I get out? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to leave, <laughs> so I, and I saw you two sitting up there, and I said, I can't believe I just left a, a Kim Mosier and uh, uh, a couple other politicians, and I come over here to the school, and there's Jex Williams, my, my great friend. Yeah, and I, I, I think you still think you're the school commissioner. I think I, I still am the superintendent of education, <laughs> the last elected, and I used to substitute teach here. <laughs> and Gil Hammond taught here for 10 years. 
and so did my sister taught here her first job and uh so I'm going to try to sneak down here and see if I can sneak back out into the traffic and head on to the barber shop. Turn right, you'll be able to get out. Go right. Okay, I'll turn around here and head back and go right. Do Checks. You, Take care, Jay. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. One of our best, one of our best senators in Kentucky, right there. Beachwood High School. Praise the Lord. Take care, Jay. See you later, Rick John. The cross and the gable. Beautiful.
two? On the screen, the Bible says yeah. this. John chapter one. He's on there. Do you? Oh, do I? There, yeah. Him, that's Jesus Christ. Get on there. Not with my show, but I'm on there all the time. Name, Jesus gave the right to become children. I film of God. all these sermons. How do I become a child of God? While I'm How driving. I and I always. How do I you know somebody down that I'm going to heaven when I die? How do I yeah. make sure I'm on the in crowd, not the out crowd? Well, they got a family of four. I want to be a child. They get God. seventy pounds of food. It says two things. Two verbs. Mercy. Receive and believe. To all who received him, to those who the, 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 the good part, the, the healthy field. part, if you can get apples and I fruit, you know what I mean? Yeah. They had cabbage here last time. They were bigger than my uh, I believe he is bowling balls. I've never seen cabbage that big. They cabbage soup out of it. Most, if not all of us, have found the second part. You have believed in Jesus Christ. You believe he historically existed. You accept the fact that he died on the cross. He rose again. Congratulations, you're halfway there. You now need to receive him as the Lord of your life. And you need to do the T-R-U-S-T with him today. This is terrible. If you're ready to have your life changed, this one's going to do it. It's going to seal your eternal destiny. It's going to change your life from here on out. Because you're not going to live for yourself anymore. Would you pray this simple prayer in your heart? You don't say it aloud. God knows your thoughts. He knows what you're thinking. And it doesn't even matter the words. But as I pray these words, you can just say, Me too. Me too. Jesus. You say, Dear Jesus, you have promised that if I believe in you, everything I've ever done wrong will be forgiven. And Jesus, you have promised that if I believe in you, I will learn the purpose of my life. And you have promised that if I believe in you, I will get strength and power for daily living. And that you will accept me into your eternal home in heaven one day. I want to have a real faith in you. Not a fake faith, not a phony faith. I want to be a true believer. Not a partial belief. I want to believe and I want to receive you. So today, I confess, pray this in your heart, I confess, I believe that you are God and I receive you into my life as my Lord. Okay, John.